ಓಂ ಸುರ್ನರೋ ತಮೈರ್ಮುದಾ ಧರ್ಮನಂದನಮಹ ವಿಚಿಂತ ಶ್ರೀಘನ್ಶ್ಯಾಂ ಮಹಾರಾಜನೀ ಜಯ ಸುಪ್ರೀಮೋಲ್ ಮಾಟಿ ಔರ್ ಬಿಲೌಟ್ ಘನ್ಶ್ಯಾಮ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಪಾತ್ಮಿ ಕಠೋರ್ ಲಿಬರೇಷನ್ ಪೂಜ್ಯಪಾತ್ ಗುರುಜಿ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಜಯ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನಾರಾಯಣ today we are going to learn something something about association meaning sang through the presentation so first of all what is sang what is association and how the sang or association affects our life in the satsang meaning how is how the association or sang is useful to us to walk on the path of liberation meaning to proceed towards the bhagwan as well as how it is important for us to imbibe the great virtues by which bhagwan and his ekantik satpurush and his all santo and bhaktos they become pleased upon us so let we see association meaning song in english we can say association and in gujarati we can say sang what is sang so first of all we see some a literal meaning sang means company or to associate with somebody by thought word or deed that is called a sang sang meaning to have a company of someone just as you have a company of your parents in your home you have a company of the other kids in a school you have a company of devotees and santo in the mandir or while you are coming to mandir or even during the sibirs so this is what the company meaning the sang but when we consider it in little deeper meaning then we can understand how the song meaning how the company actually affects our day to day life in satsang first of all to understand song we should understand what is kusang and what is satsang kusang meaning bad company and satsang meaning good company but kusang that is bad company is adversely affect our day to day life as well as our thoughts our behavior meaning our overall our totally life is depend upon these two things kusang and satsang what we have to do in satsang what we have to do in our life we have to remove kusang from our life and we have to imbibe more and more satsang in our life if we do this thing meaning forget the kusang and imbibe the satsang detach ourselves from kusang and attach ourselves in satsang if we can successfully do this thing then we will enjoy the spiritual life even the happiness which we can only experience after the death meaning when we when we will go to the akshardham the same happiness we can experience here while i live so this is what the kusang and satsang but a moral and ethical person may not be fond of keeping the company of an immoral person meaning someone who himself has something good qualities in one's oneself is definitely desire for attaining more and more some uh, such kind of positive or more morality why just as if suppose someone has a uh, more money in the world that person cannot be satisfied with that money he definitely try to earn more and more money 
On the other hand, someone who has less money, meaning one who has only 50,000 dollars per year income, then that person cannot think for invest uh, like 100,000 dollars in some business or something. He only think, he only can think for uh, doing more job and earn more money. In the same way, one who has moral and ethical values in one's life, that person definitely desire for have a company of the same kind of people. If someone who has bad qualities in life, that person definitely desire to have a company of such a people who has bad qualities in them. And one who is a good satsang, one who has good values in his life, then that person definitely desire to have a company of a deity, one who has good values even more than himself. So now we think for our own self. What kind of people we are? If we are a devotee of Bhagwan Swaminarayan, then we have to desire for a company of Bhagwan, his Ekantik Satpurus, and his devotees and Santo, by which we can we can walk on the path of liberation easily with the company of Bhagwan's divine form as well as his Ekantik Satpurus, who guide us on the way, and with the group of devotees, because with the group of devotees and santo, we can uh, easily pass our bad time, tough time in satsang or in our social or day-to-day -day life. Now, we have to associate our own self with Bhagwan, Sant, and Shastra. There is three factors for a devotee, because we are a devotee of Bhagwan Swaminarayan, so we have to associate with these three kind of element or we can say things or we can say uh, Bhagwan, Sant and Shastra. Now let us see how we can associate our own self with Bhagwan, how we can associate our own self with Sant and how we can associate with the scriptures or Shastra. With Bhagwan, we want to keep a company of Bhagwan. But how we can keep Bhagwan's company? Bhagwan also desire for us, like Bhagwan also thinking for our own self, like why this duty, this sadhu is not coming to me? I also wanted to have his company. So how to do company of Bhagwan? How to keep company of Bhagwan and first doing mala? If we chant Bhagwan's holy name while sitting in Indian style position, while keeping a rosary in our hand, meaning Mara in our right hand, and you most of uh, all the kids, all, all of you mostly know how to chant Bhagwan's holy name on a Mara. So in that manner, if we focus our, our eyes on Bhagwan's divine form in front of us, and while chanting his name, we can pass one bead, then after again chant Bhagwan's holy name Swaminarayan and pass the another bead. In this way, if we doing if we do Mara for Bhagwan's holy name, then it is said that we have a company of Bhagwan. Why? Because we are chanting Bhagwan's holy name. So in this way, while chanting Bhagwan's holy name, we have a company of Bhagwan. Second, Mansi Puja. Okay, what is Mansi Puja? Mansi Puja is nothing but a kind of puja, meaning worship of Bhagwan. That's a different kind. Not for Mansi Puja, we do not need anything for performing physical, or we do not need any worldly objects. If we want to give a sour to Bhagwan, we do not need any sour tub or something. We do not need to dry Bhagwan's body with a towel. 
all those things we need but all those things inside our heart inside our mind so all those things are not visible outside but all those things visible inside meaning when we are performing mansi puja the method of doing mansi puja is just sitting comfortably in indian style position or in meditation uh, in meditating position and while closing our eyes we should remember bhagwan's divine form and after remembering bhagwan's divine form or imagine bhagwan's divine form in our mind we can start our mansi puja there are five times a day we should do mansi puja first in early in the morning while doing puja first after doing tilak chandra and the other things we should do mansi puja of bhagwan in that mansi puja we should wake up him give him a shower and all this stuff then we should give him a breakfast after maharaj finish breakfast then and then after we should take the meal or other thing meaning this is the mansi puja for daily puja so this is morning time when we are taking we are going to take a lunch before taking lunch we should offer our lunch to bhagwan because bhagwan is also hungry and he is always with us to protect us to help us to give us guidance in this way bhagwan is always with us so we have to offer him a lunch through mansi puja again at 3 or 4 o'clock in afternoon time at the time we should wake him up because after taking lunch maharaj went to sleep and so that's why we have to wake him up and give him a shower or and also give him some snacks uh, then after at evening time after performing aarti or before aarti we should do this mansi puja for dinner and the last mansi puja at bed time so this is what five times mansi puja so in this way we should also associate with bhagwan's divine form there is no particular rules to perform this puja just as in physical doing puja we have to keep our body pure then after we should uh, wear uh, washed clothes then after we need all the other stuffs like kanku chokha chandan etc etc flowers garlands etc but to do mansi puja we do not need any such kind of things because all these things are imaginary so in this way if we perform all five times mansi puja and i know this is the days you have vacation or you mostly remain in your home so everyone can easily perform mansi puja and in this way while performing mansi puja we can attach our own self with bhagwan's divine form next is singing kirtan this is also the way to associate our own self with bhagwan's divine form if we have a kirtan book or we can now find the kirtans online from the google also we can easily find all these things but to singing kirtan one thing is needed and that is our desire to sing a kirtan in front of bhagwan only to praise him only to please him not to so not to uh, not with any other purpose if we have time and if uh we want to attach our own self with bhagwan then we should sing kirtan in front of bhagwan by that we can attach our own self with bhagwan because our nan santo they are also singing kirtans for bhagwan while sitting in front of him like thousands and thousands of kirtans they were even today available in a book of muktanand swami premanand swami nishkuranand swami brahmanand swami there are thousands of such uh, kirtan books available in satsang and the santos they were singing kirtans for bhagwan 
The another way to attach our own self with Bhagwan is remembrance of Bhagwan's divine incidents. Just as Bhagwan Ban in Chapaya in this day in this way, then such kind of celebration happen there in Chapaya. Then after once upon a time, once upon a day, when Bhagwan Samaraj was very little, then Kalidat came to kill Bhagwan. In this way, if we remember Bhagwan's divine incident. then it is said that we have attached our own self with bhagwan just as bhagwan sprinkled color water on the devotees and santos if we remember such kind of incident then our mind is also going to become stable and our focus increase on the form of bhagwan and our mind is also enjoying the divine incident of bhagwan because our mind remain engaged while thinking for the incident and because of that the other bad thoughts did not come to our mind now the another second uh, we have to associate not only with bhagwan's divine form but also with sant and the shastras meaning scriptures so second point is sant how we can attach how we can associate with the sant first is listening katha we know every sunday puja dhyan swam is doing katha as well as those who can understand gujarati they have uh, there are lots of kathas of puja guruji and the other santos on our channel youtube channel or we have the mp3s and all the other things if we listen katha then by listening discourses from santo listening katha from santo virtues automatically imbibe in our life and without the katha no one can wish to have a virtues in one's life the katha is the only way to understand the scriptures the katha is the only way to understand what bhagwan want to say the scriptures uh, the katha is the only way to attach our own self with the form of bhagwan and that's why we have to listen katha and because of that this is the best way to attach our own self with the sant next is the practical application in our life because not uh, because we listen katha from the santo or we personally sit with santo and uh, discuss some point or ask some question to him and santos they give us answers what to do after that we have to apply all those things in our life if suppose santo says not to play video game more than 2 hours then that's it we should stop to play video game more than 2 hours if santo said we should take a niyam for chaturmas then we have to take a niyam and follow that niyam throughout the 4 or 5 months during the chaturmas so this is what if we follow the agnyas of santo because santo never say what is not in the scriptures so in this way if we practically uh, apply those things in our life then that's that, that is called association with the sant next is the seva seva is the very very easiest way to attain rajip of everyone because bhagwan is bhagwan also become extremely pleased upon someone who is doing manual seva physical seva and this is the very easiest thing for us as well as the greatest opportunity for us to please bhagwan santo and the other bhaktos if you are in mandir then you can uh, do seva while serving the devotees the food or prasad or you can cleanse the mandir or uh, using vacuum or the other things you can also arrange the sitting uh, chairs and other things in this way you can do such kind of seva if you are not 
able to come to mandir then while staying at your home you can do the other kind of seva while asking santo so in this way if we perform any kind of seva then bhagwan santo bhaktos everyone can please up, uh, everyone become please upon us and because of their rajipo we can easily walk on the path of bhagwan as well as we can also enjoy the divine bliss of bhagwan so this is what the three ways to attach our own self with santo and the fourth thing is darshan while doing bhagwan's and bhagwan santo's darshan we can also associate uh, associate with santo in this way in these four ways we have the opportunity to have association of ekantik satpurush now the third point is shastra meaning the scriptures or the holy books we can easily attain uh, attach our own self or have a company of scriptures by reading second is practical application meaning what we have read from the scriptures we should Im- apply those things in our life then also another way to attach the scriptures with the memorization like a kadis and sloks the vachanamrut quotes swami nivato or the life incident of bhagwan meaning charitro in this way if we memorize all those things then that is also good for us meaning that's all all things all things are said to be our association with the scriptures and finally fourth one is trust if we have faith in the words of bhagwan if we have faith in the words of santo then we can apply those things in our life and those words of bhagwan and santo are written in the scriptures so we have to keep a trust a faith in the words of the scriptures now we have seen these three points because we want to attach we want to associate with bhagwan sant and scriptures now all in one meaning suppose take an example we have a television we have a tv in our home we can watch a uh, daily live kathas aartis everything we can also watch the other things meaning uh, the outsider uh, outside things like a uh, cartoon or something or you can also play video games and other things but you cannot use it like you are using the computer meaning if you want to uh, send a email or check your email then you cannot do that things through the television for that you need a computer if you have a computer then you can do all the other things like you can check and send and share the emails with others as well as you can also watch live katha daily aarti and all the other things what you are doing in television you are also playing the games in a computer in this way you are doing all these things what you are doing through uh, with the tv even more than that you can also do the other things with the computer but if you have a phone you have an iphone then you can do all the other things meaning what you are doing the work with the television what you are doing the work with the computer you can do all those things as well as you can talk with and text with your friends with the phone so in short if you have a phone then everything you have in your hands in the same way is there anything like a phone in the satsang in the association thing yes we have one thing that is all in one
without understanding the mahima or glory of bhagwan's divine form even while standing uh, standing in front of bhagwan's divine form even in mandir or even at your home you cannot have the uh, you cannot have anything like emotion or devotion inside your heart for bhagwan but if you listen the glory of bhagwan's divine form or the, the glory of the darshan of bhagwan then you definitely have emotion and devotion for bhagwan's divine form in your heart so how this happen when you have listened such things from santo so even though you have a contact of bhagwan but without understanding the glory of bhagwan we do not have the true association with bhagwan so if we want to associate with bhagwan truly then we need a sant if we want to look inside the books what is written inside our scriptures then books no good without the tutor because just as in a pharmacy all the medicines are there in the pharmacy store but without a pharmacist or without a doctor you cannot understand what is this medicine for even though you know the english and everything written on the medicine in english but still you cannot uh you cannot understand or you cannot guess what is this medicine for you cannot use it without the permission of doctor meaning prescription of doctor or without the pharmacist in the same way because the doctor knew its precise use for someone the use of medicine in the same way the sant is only person who knew the words of the scriptures who can understand the meaning between the lines and those sons can explain us and because of their explanation we can understand what is written in the scriptures otherwise even though the books are available in english and we can read those book we cannot understand what bhagwan or bhagwan's ekantik satpurush want to say for that we need ekantik satpurush to understand bhagwan also says in this vachnamru the same thing like without the association or without the satpurus one cannot understand the meaning of the scriptures so in short we have all in one in the form of ekantik satpurus if we have a form and perfect association with the sant in the form of our puja guruji then by his association bhagwan and shastras come to our life so this is the very very easiest way for us because primary or secondary we have all in one so why we cannot use it we should use this easiest way to attach our own self with bhagwan and his ekantik satpurush uh through the association with the satpurush because maharaj himself says in the vachnavrut grada first chapter 58 when no distance remains at all between one and the person whose company is kept that is non true association so if we do not keep any kind of distance between our heart to ekandik satpurush heart meaning what he said we have to follow what he said not to do we stop we should stop that things meaning we should not do that thing if while our day to day life if we uh, by mistake we sh- uh, commit any sin or perform any mistakes by breaching any rules or regulation of satsang then we should tell and ask for forgiveness from bhagwan as well as the kantik satpurush we should ask for the atonement and if we perform that atonement then we are f- 
free from those sins so if in this way we do not have a distance remains with our own self and with our ekandik satpurush then that is called true association with the ekandik satpurush and with that association we can also attach our own self with bhagwan's divine form as well as with the scriptures so this is our all in one de- device to progress on the path of liberation uh, and by using that this divine device we should do that because this is very easiest way to attach our own self with bhagwan by saying this my humble jai swami narayan shri ganeshyam maharaj ni jai shri patim shri dharam sarva deveshwaram bhakti dharmatmajam vasudevam hari madavam keshavam kamadam karanam swami narayanam nilakantham bhaje shri ganeshyam maharaj ni jai